So in this video, I have decided to go over the patch notes for update 1.19 or for you guys that are on PS4 and Xbox One, update 1.05. But what's up guys, let's be Jimmy here and today I want to go over the patch notes that just was recently released today and I wanted to go over all the DLC items first, but now we are going to be discussing the patch notes in today's video. Now all I really do ask from you guys is a like rating on the video to help this video get out there and that is it. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Now of course for you guys, I'll have a link in the description where you guys can go check out the title update for yourself over on the Rockstar support page and I'll have that down in the description. Now the first thing that I'd like to go over is new features and updates and please do stay till the end of the video because I'm going to be going over all the miscellaneous kind of stuff that was fixed up. I'm not going to be going over the new content, however I'll go over a few new content DLC items that you guys may not know that are in GT Online. And let's start off with players are now able to own a third property allowing potential ownership of up to 30 cars and 9 bicycles. As well as dead zone and acceleration sliders have been added to control settings. Another thing that's really cool that was added is first person mode auto level camera is now on and off setting has been added to the settings. Now I am going to go over the new content that we just received within the update. I went over most of it in all my other videos and I'll have those videos in the description as well if you guys missed out on anything earlier today. And I'm going to go over right now a few things that we didn't know. 30 new tattoos have been added to all tattoo parlors in GTA Online. 5 new kit items have been added in GTA Online. Black Combat Shoot Bag, Charcoal Combat Shoot Bag, Forest Combat Shoot Bag, and also a gray and tan combat shoot bag. So what that is is a parachute. So it states players who log in on either the 24th of December, the 31st of December, or the 1st of January will be gifted a firework launcher with five rounds. So make sure you guys are online at those times. Now the launcher will be permanently added to the player's inventory. Players who already own the launcher will receive five rounds when logging in on each of the above days, which is on the 31st, the 24th, or the 1st. Now guys, this next thing I'm going to cover is actually the Christmas Day gift that we're going to be getting under our tree as soon as we sign on on the 25th. So it says the Christmas Day gift will be available only to players who log in to play GT Online on the 25th. Please note that this is only available from the Christmas Day gift and cannot be purchased. So guys, this is something really cool. They're going to be having a second chance event item. So they're going to be doing this event this weekend where players who missed out on getting t-shirts and beer hats in events this year will be given a second chance to try and get them as well as few new items with the new special crate dropping each day over the holiday period. So guys, if you're in online, make sure you guys look around for crate drops because you guys may find yourself a beer hat or any rare t-shirts, vintage t-shirts out there. So the next thing I want to go over is all the limited time content that we're going to be seeing and the limited time content is going to be the christmas tree that's in your apartment the christmas tree at legion square as well as the penguin the gingerbread the three elf masks as well as the 90 plus new festive surprise theme items for the females and the males will also be limited and as well as snowballs firework rocket launchers and the snow so the next thing i would like to go over with you guys is going to be all the fixes and just miscellaneous things that happened within ps4 and xbox one and i'm going to talk about a few things that they fixed so they fixed multiple issues to allow improved matchmaking and connectivity speed. They also fixed an issue where players who left their characters wearing masks when migrating were unable to remove them when attempting to update their character's features. Another thing they fixed that may upset a lot of you stunters and they fixed an issue where BMX physics has changed and creating issues with races and stunting. Meaning that when you guys are like riding on walls you can't just ride on walls with bikes. It's not going to work like that anymore. This is a funny one but they fixed an issue where player characters faces could age rapidly after several hours of playing. And the last thing I want to cover is they fixed an issue where some hairstyles could be unavailable after transferring a character. So that was basically all the fixes, the features, the new stuff that was added to GT Online and I just wanted to cover that with you. There's a bit more stuff if you want to go read it, I'll leave it down in the description below. But with that being said guys, I hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like as well. Make sure you guys click that subscribe button so you never miss another GTA video like this. But with that being said guys, this has been Lispy Jimmy. I'm out and I'll catch you in the next one.